Well, it's lunchtime again, and today's lunch is going to be another one of the Happy Yak meals, this time the vegetarian chili. If you're interested in seeing what it looks like and what it tastes like, keep watching. So once again, today's meal is from the Happy Yak Express line, and it is the vegetarian chili. And being from the Express line, it means it can be prepared directly in the pouch with hot water. Optionally, it could be brought to a simmer for one to two minutes and then let's set aside for five to seven minutes. I'll be preparing it right in the pouch today because that's the easiest way to prepare it. So let me read a little bit about this meal to you. To start with, it is a gluten-free meal, a lactose-free meal, and a vegan meal. It has 46 grams of protein from vegetarian sources, primarily, if I read the instruction or the ingredients correctly, be soya proteins. So what else does it, does it have in it? It does have rice and tomato sauce. It does have dehydrated vegetables such as carrot, potato, onion, tomato, celery, leek, red and green bell peppers, freeze-dried corn, spices, garlic powder. So quite a few things, and there are a few uh, preservatives in there as well. Oh dehydrated red kidney beans. I missed that one as well. So it is a fairly hefty meal having 360 calories per half of the pouch. So if I were to eat this whole pouch I would have 720 calories. Now that's a good size meal. Mind you it's mostly, well it is, all veg vegetable oriented. So I am going to get down to where I have my water on to boil. It takes foot between four and five hundred mils, about two cups of hot water, poured into the poach, stirred and set aside for 10 minutes. So let's do that now. Okay, so here's the meal. Open it up. I have not seen this one before. Don't know what it looks like inside. Let's have a look. Wow, okay. A whole lot of red beans. Now, I, uh, since I am going to prepare it in the meal, I'll just have to try and show you what it looks like through here. You can see a lot of the red kidney beans have floated to the top. So, uh, well, that, you know, that's consistent with any good chili. So corn I can see in there right now, carrots. I imagine a lot of the other things are mixed down inside. This is quite a full bag. I'm hoping that I can get this uh, all mixed in. You know, when you're cooking right in the bag, and I'm sure most people know this, you're going to need a long-handled spoon. So off of uh, AliExpress, I did buy myself a titanium spoon from Lixada. It's about uh, 8 or $9 Canadian, so good buy. I like using my wooden spoons. In fact, I'm going to eat with my wooden spoon, but I did want to bring something long enough that I could stir with. All right, so my water is fresh off the boil. Kind of an old-school canister for boiling my water in today. Still have a fire ban here. No open fires at all. This is two cups of boiling water. Yeah, that filled it right to the top. Did it ever? Holy smokes. That's going to require a bit of stirring. You know, it did say between four and five hundred mils of water. I don't know what it's going to look like once it's rehydrated since I used the full five hundred. All right, starting to sink back in. Good. I think the uh, vegetables, as they soak up a little bit of the water, are allowing it to sink down into the bottom of the bag a little bit. A little afraid that I wasn't going to be able to get it shut. All right, that's looking good. All stirred. Now, normally it's a good practice once you put these sealed in a side that somewhere in the... Oh, geez, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this shot. Holy smokes. All right, there's my first lesson on this one. Don't put in the full 500 mils of water. It doesn't need it, I don't think. And I can't get it shut. That's okay. It's warm out enough today that if I let it sit, even with a little bit of an opening right here. Actually, it's very nice out today. It's plus 20 degrees right now. I just have to make sure that stands without worrying about it falling. And I'll bring you back in about 10 minutes to let you know what it looks and tastes like. So I gave it uh, closer to 15 minutes. Uh, I think I started to say, but didn't finish the statement when I realized that the bag wasn't going to shut, is it's a good practice to take your spoon about halfway through whatever amount of time you're going to let it sit and give it a stir to make sure that all the body ingredients are engaged with the water. So a good 15 minutes now. I'm just going to give it another stir. Oh yeah, it's looking better now. Okay. Mmm, hot. And spicy, too. 
So what I'm going to do is dump the ingredients in the bowl because it's the only way I can really show you what's going on in here. A little bit did stay inside. Let's hope that all rehydrated. Yeah, it's looking good. I am going to be eating it with a wooden spoon because it just feels more traditional. So what I'm going to do from here is I'll give you a look at the meal and you should be able to see it looks like chili with a lot of rice in it. Carrots, beans, tomatoes, all the other ingredients of chili, soya protein instead of regular meat. So that's what makes it a vegetarian meal. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to reposition myself in my hammock chair and uh, we'll do a taste test. Okay. Chair's a little offsided. Oh, great. This is a huge meal. Holy smokes. So I did bring as long a spice kit. Uh, it smells spicy enough, but uh, I guess we'll see. Let's try it. Mm. It is spicy enough. If you like it really hot, then you may want to add a little hot sauce, cayenne, chili peppers, whatever you want normally add to it. Chipotle would go perfect, of course. I think I have some. No, maybe it's a different kit. Um, yeah, it is spicy enough, but I think I will add a little bit of hot sauce to it. Again, like the other Happy Act meals, it is not salty. Hard to tell when it's spicy, but no. One more taste. No, it's not a salty tasting meal at all. It's actually quite nice just the way it is. The texture is perfect. I, I was a little afraid maybe I'd put too much water in it because that package would not hold, would not close with the full two cups of water. Uh, but no, the texture is just nice. Do you know, we make chili at home, my, my wife and I, and I know not everybody does this, but it's something we learned to do years ago when we were trying to make a pot of chili and we had people come over. If you have rice, we sometimes put rice in the bottom of the bowl or on the plate and then put the chili on top of it as a means of extending it, making it go a little further. It does up the uh, carbohydrates in your meal quite a bit. Well, this has been designed to have the chili mixed right in. So that's where a lot of the carbohydrates in this meal are coming from, is from the rice. Yeah, everything rehydrated perfectly. You know, I've had vegetarian uh, soya protein before in a lot of meals. I put it in my own meals when I make my own dehydrated homemade meals. And I don't think mine has ever rehydrated as well as this. I can't tell. I mean, I'd have to have a side-by-side -side meal with real hamburger in it, but I can't tell the difference between this being real hamburger and soya protein. The flavor is there, the texture is there. That's one hearty meal. The corn, the carrots, the red beans, red kidney beans that is, the red and green peppers, onions, I can see it all and it all looks good. Okay, I am going to add just a little bit of spice to this and uh, then I'll eat it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish this. This is huge. I guess that's one of the nice things about those Ziploc bags that you mix it up in is if you can't eat it all, close it off and save it for later. Maybe a little further down the trail. You can reheat it again if you want. There's no reason why not. Um, I may end up doing that because this is a huge meal. This is way more than I can eat today, I'm sure. Anyway, I will do that. I'll put a little spice in it and we'll uh, close up with a cup of coffee and a few comments. That's good. Very good, actually. So I think I've mentioned in the past that uh, I don't always make fresh roasted, fresh ground coffee when I'm in the woods. I prefer that, but sometimes I just want to go a little quicker. Maybe time doesn't allow me. And that's when I'll switch over to using instant coffee. And then I've also done a review of Waka instant coffee. I'll put a link up at the end of the video where you can see that review. And that's what I'm having today is another cup of the Waka instant coffee. It's good. It really is. It's good instant coffee. It's still not fresh roasted, fresh ground, but it's a good cup of instant coffee. And along with that, I'm having some dehydrated apples that I made last fall. And when they was finished, put them in a vacuum seal bag and uh, they're perfect. That's just a perfect snack to have with, after the vegetarian meal. Okay, so the vegetarian chili from Happy Yak, uh, it's, a, it's right on. It would be a 10 out of 10 if I was doing a food rating scale that way. 
Uh, I think in every way it was perfect. It was spicy enough. It was not salty. I did add a little heat to it, but that's only because I like mine a little hotter. You don't have to if you don't like it too hot. It all rehydrated perfectly. The taste was there. The texture was there. The one comment I would say is that the bag wasn't quite big enough for me to seal when I added the two cups of water. So maybe the lesson there is add a little less water. I'm not sure. But in any case, it rehydrated great. It was a good tasting meal. I can recommend it. If you're looking for a vegetarian meal, this would be a good one to have. Okay, I do have a playlist of Happy Yak meals. I'll put a link to that at the end of the, this video as well if you want to see what else I've reviewed from Happy Yak. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.